In this short video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Wi-Fi for HTML, the graph visualization library components, into an existing web application powered by the NPM module system. For simplicity, I'm going to use Webpack 5 in this example, but any framework that uses um, or toolchain that uses NPM modules for loading and managing its dependencies would work just the same. So this is a Webpack 5 application. Um, let's run the the server and open the file. So that's that's a very simple file. The index HTML is basically empty with just the one script file, and the script file um, uh, renders some dynamic HTML. So let's make this a YFLs powered application. NPM rebuilds the file automatically for me. Now in order to to add Wi-Fi's functionality, two steps are required basically. The first one is to reserve space in the DOM. For this we're going to uh, use a diff and a diff doesn't have any size so what we first do is specify a width and a height for, for this um, basically for this canvas. Let's give it some background so that we can see that. So um, why do we have to specify a size? Because Wi files by default the component doesn't have any size so it would be zero and invisible on the screen. This makes it possible to to use every kind of sizing mechanisms like CSS styling or animations or third-party frameworks um, to to specify or determine or modify the size of the graph component at runtime. So make sure to always specify width and height and, or at least a non-zero size for your graph component. Let's also give this an ID so I can later retrieve the and I, um, the div element in my JavaScript file. So before I um, load this into into the JavaScript, I need to specify the dependency in my package JSON. This I can do via installing the npm module. For this, I go to the Wi-Fi for HTML. Uh, in this case, evaluation version that that I've previously uh, downloaded and unzipped. And very important now, I at least you should run at least once the start demos commands or execute the scripts and package JSON because this will actually bundle the Wi-Fi's library, which is initially only in lib, uh, as an npm bundled module, an npm packed module for us to install. So please go and re re read the readme if you don't know how. But once you've done that, um, if you go, for example, into the lib dev directory into ES modules, you will find that there is a Wi-Fi's uh, dot tjc file and this is the file that we are going to um, install as a dependency so that's the npm bundled module so npm install the file into the app now it's referenced and um, next step is that we import the functionality using ECMAScript 6 imports for this we can import from Wi files. And if you get the code completion over here and documentation lookup, you know that the import has worked as expected. If you don't get code completion in your IDE, um, then you, you probably did not import the NPM module properly. So, importing the graph component allows us to call the constructor for the graph component. And there's a number of different overloads. The first one that we're looking for allows us to specify a CSS selector for the diff that we use to to modify our graph component. So let's do graph component. Hit save. Wait for Webpack to do its stuff, and then keeping your fingers crossed and hope that we get Wi files loaded into our application. Oops, almost, we forgot to include the license. Um, this is simple. We import license, which is a 
dummy and then we can specify the license dot value and this is where we need to put the, the JSON value and um, if you're evaluating Y files the the life the license file um, can be found inside the lib folder and inside the lib dev folder and so I'm just copying over the license file into my source files over here and then I could be just pasting in the and inlining them in here but since this is using webpack let's import the JSON values import lic the license value from license JSON so we can do license value over here save wait for it to recompile go back reload and now the license error is gone now let's actually create a graph so we are, we are remembering the graph component over here from the graph component we get to the graph and this is where we can create a note and once I save this and reload we see our first graph a very simple graph visualization with just a simple note from here on the journey begins so take a look at the demos and add functionality to your application have fun